Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Every now and then there is just too many movies to review, so I have to play a little catch up. That being the case this week, once again, it's time for another installment of Rapid Fire Reviews. St. Vincent, a subtly funny and at times somewhat depressing movie about a man that seems to be a loser, but there is more to him than what's on the surface. Bill Murray is pretty good playing this role, though it is not entirely new territory for him. I would like to see Melissa McCarthy play more roles like this. Subtle humor fits her better than loud and obnoxious. There is a theme in the movie about getting the recognition that you deserve even if it doesn't seem like you do. There is something to be said about flawed characters because the majority of the main ones in this film are, and that is what made them interesting. Before I go to sleep. An above average to good thriller about a woman that forgets everything after she goes to sleep. Though some of the obvious happens, at least the movie teases you with some of the other obvious things that could happen, which keeps you guessing which one they will choose. Performances from Nicole Kidman, Colin Firth, and Mark Strong are convincing. Kidman's performance works because she is nowhere near invincible, which is where a lot of these movies make their mistakes. At least worth a rental for fans of mystery thrillers. Men, Women, and Children. While I understand what the film was trying to say and liked a few parts of it, it had too many flaws for me to really recommend it. The biggest flaw was that it followed way too many people's stories to really get invested in the characters, even though there were a few I would have liked to know more about. If the film followed just two or three of the stories, it would have been a lot better. It tried to be deeper than it really was with this theme of, we are but a speck in the universe. Also, a lot of the film had this very annoying narrator telling us what the characters were thinking at times what we should be thinking. Addicted, one half Temptation, Confessions of a Marriage Counselor, one half Nymphomaniac, and a dash of Eyes Wide Shut, and worse than all three of them combined. This film's story is filled with cliches, cookie cutter characters, and has some of the most laughably dumb love scenes that would make a soap operas look like Shakespeare. You know a movie's bad when sex addiction is kind of cured by walking out into traffic, and I found it hilarious. Ready for the recap? While not a must-see in theaters, it is definitely worth a rental. You should remember to rent this one when it comes out on DVD. I'm a little on the rental bubble about this one. Watch this one to have your intelligence insulted or for an inappropriate laugh. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.